My son is a reluctant learner, and I think that Mr. Bradley jumped through hoops to gain his attention. And not only does um, has there been a change in my son, but my son enjoys going to school and really looked forward to seeing Mr. Bradley every day and seeing his classmates. Um, and there were times when kids were tardy on Zoom Fridays or uh, they weren't showing up and he'd put his phone up on the on his handlebars and right over to the house. And he uh, happened what? to come show up at my house one day and say, hey, Mitch, where are you? No, really? so that is a boba Mr. Design. Bradley, you would ride your bicycle to kids' houses and be like, hey, let's go. We're going to Zoom in. It was, yeah, we, I did that once. We did a, a round robin where I went to everybody's house who was on Zoom just to say hi. And because I live in the neighborhood, so uh, they were really close and it was a lot of fun. Uh, great to pull up and uh, see kids sitting there on their front porch and He's here. <laughs> the and, uh, teacher's here. That yeah. would be the coolest. Have your teacher come to your house. That means a lot to like take time out of your day to go let your students know that they're special to you. Oh, yeah. Not even just taking time out of your day, but last year we just craved connection. Yeah, like, so We true. wanted to be in a classroom. It's like weird, Liz. You talked about your son being a reluctant learner. Then all of a sudden, all of us who were even reluctant learners wanted to get back into a classroom, just feel that. And so you to go and show up and say, hey, like human to human connection still means something. That's such a powerful message to deliver to the kids. I also like this part about character education. Tell us what that, that was all about. So that was really interesting because uh, Kaiser has a requirement, I think, for all of the teachers to work in some character building activities. And Mr. Bradley would, um, for example, say to the kids, hey, why don't you ask your mom if you can take care of the dishes or run the dishwasher or empty the dishwasher and say, you know, that's so that you can have a few minutes to maybe spend with me later, mom. That's so cute. Yeah. We'll help around the house, you know. Everybody appreciates that. I think parents appreciate that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. And then it freed up time for us to, you know, throw the ball in the yard. Yeah. Or, yeah. I got videos of them vacuuming and washing windows. That's awesome. and going out to their mom's car and cleaning their mom's car out. And like, nice. Yeah, that was really cool. So what was it about Mr. Bradley that, like, just stood out for you and that made you want to go to school and want to learn? Uh, he was funny, hilarious. And he was very good at teaching. He was never made me bored. I was always really, really like entertained. And like when we like were in math, I was like, oh, it's gonna be boring. And he's like, well, we'll do it this way and it'll be fun. And I was like, whoa. Whoa, what was wow, something? He made math fun. <laughs> yeah, what was something he did that made math fun? Can you remember so something that was cool? He like, what he did is that he like made it into games. And so he made us, like, have to, like, challenge ourselves into doing it differently instead of doing it in a in the regular term. And so that was really entertaining and it made it fun to learn. Um, is it safe to say you'll always remember Mr. Bradley uh, yes. this year? Very much. So we're not the <laughs> only people that want to say thank you, though. Our friends from Vantage Credit Union are here, and they have a message for you as well. So, Mr. Bradley, we just want to uh, thank you for going above and beyond and helping your students learn and helping school be fun, right? And so we have a $500 gift card for you that you can use for your classroom or for yourself. You are able to use it for you. I know a lot of teachers are like, oh, it's for the classroom. I have to use it for the classroom. Yeah. No, <laughs> you can use it for yourself or your classroom. And then we also have a bag of goodies for you as well oh to goodness. just enjoy throughout the year. And wow. hopefully this school year is going to be just as amazing this as last year. That oh would be gosh. a good time to cry, Mr. Brown. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to break down. Well, I'm going to try and make him cry. I hope I'm not stealing your thunder, but no. my husband and I decided to match the $500. Oh, my God. $500. And Mitchell wrote a note in there for you. Yeah. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, now you got me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty incredible. Um, well, you're priceless, and what you've done for our son is priceless, yeah. and I know that so many other families feel the same way. Well, I I, I can't thank you guys. I have, like, this chills, really yeah. Nice. So I, cool. I, 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 wow. I did not expect this when you um, called me last Monday and uh, told me that about this, and I'm just blown away. So um, thank you very much. It's been an honor. I mean, um, watching this young man grow up um, for these years, I can't wait to – Watch him continue. Uh, my motto in my classroom is you'll never walk alone, and I'm always there for him. <clears throat> so, Mitchell, thank you. I really appreciate this. Mary Lee, thank you so much. Thank you.